guys um, so good evening everyone so today you will be able to understand so in what are all the cases you can actually convert ui policy as data policy as we all know ui policies are used to make field mandatory read only visible based on certain conditions at the user interface level so we will use ui policies to make the field mandatory read only visible at some condition on the user interface level so we can convert ui policy as data policy as well so when we convert the ui policy as data policy so it will actually do the validations in all the ways so suppose if you are actually creating a record from any external source or any import set so if you convert it as data policy right so it will act as both ui policy as data policy so there are some limitations where you cannot actually convert ui policy as data policy so here right i have actually created a ui policy using this ui policy i am actually making a field mandatory short description and description fields mandatory so whenever the caller is not empty so whenever the caller is not empty i am actually making short description and description fields mandatory in the incident table so in the incident form whenever you make the caller as not empty so here short description fields you are actually making mandatory so now right i am just selecting the caller here i am just selecting the caller here so when i select the caller here short description and descriptions are getting mandatory but this two data policy so when i am actually dealing with visibility so i am actually making a, a non mandatory here so now i am actually dealing with visibility here so here now right you are actually making the fields hidden whenever the color is not empty so whenever the color is not empty you are actually hiding the short description and description fields so i am going to refresh this one to uh, get the changes affected so i am just refreshing this one so now i am going to select the caller here so as soon as i select the caller here right so the changes are still not affected so as soon as i select the caller here right here i am able to hide these fields so the first case is whenever you are actually controlling the visibility whenever you are actually controlling the visibility during that time you cannot actually convert ui policy as data policy whenever you are actually controlling the visibility so you cannot actually convert that as data policy see that option is not available here this is actually one case second case is whenever you are actually dealing with this global so whenever you are actually dealing with this view so during that time also the ui policy you cannot actually convert ui policy as data policy see here i have actually checked this one so i am actually again going back to the mandatory one so i let me just make it fall make it leave it alone so now i am actually controlling the mandatory here when you are actually controlling the mandatory here and you are actually unchecking this one you are selecting default here so you are selecting the view here so we have actually multiple multiple views available here so i am actually selecting this one so i am going to save this one once i save this one right so during that time also you won't be able to see convert this to data policy um, option in the related links see so when you are actually dealing with views as well so during that time also you cannot actually convert this as data policy so this is actually the second case when you are actually controlling the visibility you cannot actually convert that as data policy when you are actually dealing with this global so which is actually related to views so during this time also you cannot actually convert this to data policy so now i am actually checking this checkbox 
So we have actually discussed uh, two cases. One is actually when you are controlling the visibility, you are not able to convert that as data policy. When you are actually dealing with this global, which is actually related to views. So, so when you are actually dealing with the views during that time also, you, you are not able to convert as data policy. So I am going to discuss about third case now. So the, the, the third case is actually here, you are actually selecting the script. So in the UI policy, you can actually write the script as well. So when you are writing some script in the UI policy, during that time also, you cannot actually convert the UI policy as data policy. So now if you take a look at here, right? If you take a look at here, right? So now in this case, you cannot actually convert as data policy. You cannot convert UI policy as data policy. So there are actually three cases. So one is actually when you are controlling the visibility. Another one is when you are controlling with global, when you are dealing with global. Third one is when you are writing some script in the UI policy. So in these cases, you cannot actually convert UI policy as data policies. So guys, here, right, the point that you guys have to remember is using UI policies, you can control mandatory read-only visibility, but when it comes to the data policy, you can only, we can only deal with the mandatory read-only. So you cannot actually deal with visibility using data policy. That is the reason when you are actually dealing with the visibility using UI policy, you cannot convert that as data policy. Data policy will never will never control the visibility. So that is the reason you cannot actually convert the UI policy as data policy. So, so when it comes to the views as well, so when you are actually selecting any view here, um, during that time also, you cannot actually convert that as data policy. And the third case is here, right? We have actually scripting available in the UI policy, but in the data policy, there is no option to write scripting in the data policy. So that is the reason when you make, uh, you know, when you make a, a script checkbox checked here, right? So during that time, you cannot actually convert a UI policy as data policy. So hope you guys are uh, understand, you guys understand everything. So if you guys have any doubts, please leave your uh, you know, uh, queries in the comments. So if you like my videos, please do subscribe and like our videos and please do encourage us. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.